So people in Egypt are currently having to battle a heat wave with constant power cuts and people are frustrated and losing money. In response, the government has proposed a new plan. <laughs> Scheduled power cuts for up to two hours a day rather than random ones, with a whole timetable to let you know when the power is going to cut out. So what's going on? As a result of temperatures reaching up to 45 degrees Celsius, the country has seen an unprecedented surge in demand on its power grid, as people rely heavily on fans and ACs to keep cool. It's reached a point now where people are struggling to deal with the heat and businesses are losing money over their stock going bad, as well as a drop in customers as business owners don't have the facilities to keep their shops cool. So in response to these constant power cuts, Prime Minister Mustafa Medbouli announced some new measures last week to supposedly deal with the increased pressure on the national power grid as the high temperatures persist. Scheduled power outages across certain parts of the country and for some civil servants to work from home at least once a week. But coastal areas, he said, won't be included in these power cuts. Medbouli's reasoning was that these areas are sources of national income as foreign tourists come in and pay hard currency, which is a major source of income for the Egyptian government. He said that they don't want to display a bad image to tourists, but the Egyptian residents, well, they can handle it apparently. So what's the response been to all of this? Well, Egyptians, with their usual way of dealing with a situation like this, responded to the government with satire and sarcasm. So this one Twitter user posted this picture saying these ants are not stupid, they've just learnt the power cut schedule. Meanwhile, authorities have urged people to conserve energy and cooperate with the government. But with as many as 60% of Egypt's 104 million population estimated to be living below the poverty line, people are now asking who is the government prioritizing in this national crisis? 